I'm not going to let the house fall down on my watch. Good morning. This is the kind of stuff we're dealing with. A little bit of rotten wood, some old creosote pilings, and uh, so forth and so on. But we're going to put a steel, an aluminum plate up in here. And somewhere down the road, the homeowner's going to have to get this changed out from the front side, which will be accessible. But uh, she's kind of a mess. We'll make it work. All this is just pieced together here with little pieces. And uh, we're going to put something in there to hold it up for the time being. All right, so here we are. We gotta make some 45 cuts on this piece. We already cut the piece of box tubing in half, and we're making a brace for that real difficult place in the front of the house to support it amongst all the rot and everything else. Our job is to make sure that the foundation stays in the hurricane. We're gonna make it happen with all that activity out in the Gulf. The old dominoes coming quite the fabricator. We're making artwork up underneath here. It's looking good. We're gonna support this house. It's not gonna fall down on our watch. We got some half inch, some quarter inch, some three eighths. It's coming together. And this is what we're dealing with. Our part's not gonna fall apart, but uh, this ain't pretty. All right. So this is what we're dealing with. You look right up in here. Between these windows coming down the front of the house, it looks like there's three or four being uh, two by timbers up in there that are just setting on nothing. We put these temporary braces in here and we're putting all this metal up in here. And we got Peanut, the expert Cajun. He's the Cajun. Look at this. Look at these creations. That's insane. All that just to hold a house together so it doesn't fall down. Hey, we know the columns are strong. We know the attachment to the house is good. I don't know about the rest of it, but it's coming out nice. And then we got the peanut. That is the world famous peanut right there. He's affectionately called peanut because he's so damn big. He's a fishing captain extraordinaire. All right, here at By Lander Sea, this is a fabrication table with a few clamps on it, holding some aluminum down so it won't bow. This is our portable table. It works pretty good. This is what our job site looks like. It's real organized. It doesn't look organized, but it is. It's organized chaos. We got a lot of stuff going on here. And it's pouring out. We're so lucky to be underneath this house today. We got the Caden unit polishing up our weldment. This thing's going to be awesome. This, these people have artwork underneath their house. By land or sea artwork. Check it out. Half inch aluminum plates all welded up in a custom design. I am 90% sure after the hurricane, the plates are still gonna be there. I don't know about the wood, but the plates will still be there. Look at this. Look at this design. It's amazing. Whoever came up with this design is, no, uh, it, it needs a Nobel Prize. This is awesome. It works. We're gonna be holding the whole entire world up by these columns. So we got these drilled, no bolts in there yet. Got some bolts on that side, but gotta put some on that side. It's all ready to go. It's gonna be finished. 
course, it made a little bit of a mess on the outside of the house. We had to drill through the siding because there's a void behind the siding. We had to bolt tight to the timbers. Check it out. Oh, it's beautiful. So tight. Nothing square or level here. Like, it's most important that it's on the rim joist there, but it's through bolted up there. We'll shove some shims, some aluminum shims or something in this hole right here, but it's sandwiched in there. It's not going anywhere. Super tight. Here's the other outside corner. The best part about it is all this is hidden on the inside, so you can't see it from the outside at all. Of course, you're going to have to put some trim or something along the bottom of the house there to cover up these holes we had to drill to get the bolts in there behind the siding. A little bit of a mess here, but we made it happen. Let me show you in the back. We used up a little bit of plate, got a few scraps. Here's the first of the three in a row. Looking good. These three are almost the same. The beam's all crooked. The columns are straight, the metal's crooked. It's touching here, it's touching there. So we're shimming it inside here and right there, it's got shims. So it's nice and tight. Same with this compound angle right here. Custom built to fit the wood. All welded up solid. Up here in the middle, way up there, there's four boards that come down that support the whole house on top of that rotten piece of wood there. And uh, that rotten piece of wood's gotta come out. So we built this little setup here, pretty heavy duty. Eventually you'll have another block in there or something to hold it all together. And then this, it's like an airplane wing here. All the holes are drilled. It's going into rotten wood, but we did it in such a way that the wood can be replaced. And then these two will get two holes drilled through from the outside and bolted in. So it's gonna be awesome. This one's up here ready to go. Just gotta put the bolts in it. It's late and we're coming in on Friday. Tomorrow's July 4th. It shall be finished by noon on Friday.